memories of that pain, trapped, suffocating, to the end of every pore. Faint with sobs echoing the confined space, but I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now, I'm alive. Back to the old Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else can I do? That'll be good. Good luck out there, Shepard. you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. <laughs> like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel from... The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I... I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live... We'll talk... Commander. Later. Collectors destroyed. Base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes. Personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16. Got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Well, why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdalar region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Warden. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you. Shepard, have you got any trouble uh, working between you? Anything else? We'll be here if you need me. We tear the collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's 
never over. I assume everything is going well up here? Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. No What's this area of the ship? to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Have a few minutes. If you the last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls of metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax. Find my center. Hey, got a minute? Oh, Shepard, the engine room? Really? Right there where Tally works? Okay, I have to know. Just how genetically modified is she? Because, wow. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. 
Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob? Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy is a sweet. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector Base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Good job blowing that collector base all to hell. No way the elusive man should get the chance to fuck with it. Besides, awesome explosion, right? I should go. Okay, talk later. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. That's all for now, Shepard. No messages for you, Commander. Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And 
Got something to report? Keep up the good work. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. You need something? I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. I can do that. My contacts use... Look, good luck, my friends. I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every ten minutes. I don't want to wait that long. Welcome back. Of course. Take your time. You ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. Come on, remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to share. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite. What can I do for you? All right, I'm here if you change your mind.
don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. 